The four valves in your heart keep your blood flowing forward. Located between your left atrium and left ventricle, your mitral valve controls the blood flow between these two chambers and stops blood from flowing back into the left atrium when the left ventricle contracts. The mitral valve is composed of a front portion, known as the anterior leaflet, and a back portion, known as the posterior leaflet. A fibrous ring of tissue, called the annulus, surrounds the mitral valve. This maintains its shape and helps ensure that the leaflets close completely. Tendinous cords anchor the leaflets to small projections in your left ventricle, called papillary muscles. If you have mitral valve disease, your posterior leaflet enlarges and projects or prolapses into the left atrium. This may result from your cords elongating or rupturing. The damaged valve allows blood to leak or regurgitate back into your left atrium. The only way your left ventricle can compensate for this condition is by enlarging and pumping more volume. This causes your mitral orifice to enlarge, preventing your leaflets from closing properly. To treat this condition, your doctor may suggest a type of minimally invasive procedure called robotic mitral valve repair. Your surgeon will begin the procedure by making five small incisions on the right side of your chest. A second surgeon will insert a special camera called an endoscope and other tools attached to the robotic arms through the incisions. These robotic instruments allow the surgeon a wider range of motion and more precision than the normal human wrist. In order to perform your operation safely, the surgical team will stop your heart and place you on a heart-lung machine. This machine takes over the functions of these organs during your operation. A tube, called a cannula, will be inserted into your right groin draining blood from your heart into the heart-lung machine. The machine will oxygenate your blood and pump it back into your body through another cannula inserted through a small incision in your left groin. Seated at the robotic console, your surgeon will operate the robotic arms and the camera with hand controls and foot pedals. This computerized system will translate the exact movements of your surgeon's hands into precise movements of the robotic instruments. Your cardiac surgeon will have a magnified three-dimensional view inside your body through a high-definition binocular display. Your surgeon will then make an incision in your left atrium to get to the mitral valve. There are different types of repairs, depending on the condition of your mitral valve. A posterior leaflet repair is one of the most common types. During the repair process, your cardiac surgeon will most often remove part of the prolapsed portion of your valve and will suture together the remaining tissue. Your cardiac surgeon will also correct the enlargement of the mitral orifice by suturing a firm band or ring to the mitral annulus. Robotic mitral valve repair is the least invasive and the most precise technique available to treat mitral valve disease. The benefits for patient include no splitting of breastbone, less pain because of no retraction of the chest wall, lower risk of infection and bleeding, allows for high-precision, complex mitral valve repair, shorter hospital stay, quicker recovery and return to activity, and significantly better cosmetic results. For more information, contact Cardiothoracic Surgery at NYU Langone Medical Center, Cardiac and Vascular Institute, 212-263-2329.